to our dear farmers if you're wondering what is taking place here we are here enjoying our breakfast and still enjoying with our animals i think farming is always good and when you do things right as we have seen so we shall be talking about nutrition about feeding actually don't move away we shall be having dr kabanda from uras will be taking us through on how we can how best we can feed our animals we can have our milk we can increase our milk and have money you remember farming as a business dr kabanda you're most welcome tell us you have given us good genetic semens we are having actually the best breeds in uganda mukono wakiso um kampala we're having the most breeds we are not having milk and yet we have good breeds so today let us tackle about feeding nutrition thank you so much go ahead thank you so much Python, the director of itungo pastures i'm most delighted to be here with you on this very important topic about feeding first of all as you obtain a good cow from good genetics of yours we expect you to be very observant on how you start the journey of feeding. The journey of feeding begins with feeding the right colostrum. You can only be ready if you basically have the right genetics and you have the right pastures and you have good management. What do I mean by the right pastures? In here, we have to know what makes milk. Milk is a mixture of good water from your water point, source of protein, minerals, that's why milk is white as bones and energy, the sugar. So you mix your ration of silage with your hay and then you put in dairy meal and then you also ensure that you have adequate water in your kraal and then you're good to go. To our dear farmers, let us not complicate things in agriculture. For example, in feeding, you and me, we know that to produce milk and beef, animals need to be served with carbohydrates, proteins, minerals, vitamins, which can be sourced and grown in our fertile soil here in Uganda. But everything abroad, 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 it is okay. Let us go abroad and widen our knowledge. But when, when coping, let us copy things which are applicable here in Uganda. For example, here at Itungo Pastures, we are going to mix our organic total mix ratio, whereby everything that we are going to mix, it is locally available and grown here. Healthy animals leads to high milk and, and beef production, and automatically, that is money. Don't go away. To our viewers, as we are making our organic juice at the Tongo Pastures, let us take you straight away to show you how we make and mix our organic mixed feed ratios. That is wheat bran as cereals. That is our famous the coriander leaf hay for proteins. Of course, our queen of forages, the alfalfa. Of course, for proteins. The maize silage for carbohydrates. Of course, we have to mix the cross Guyana mixed with legumes. Let us now see how we mix our feeds thoroughly. Don't forget to give your cows water. Meanwhile, let me hope you're enjoying our video. And please, don't go away. Let's go for commercial break. We are coming. Love you. I'll start showing you the Caliandra seeds, the newly silage bags, silage sheets. Here, we are showing you how to use silage sheets, good for keeping silage. I'll start showing you the garden of Caliandra in nursery bed, 
The Crowless Guyana grass, we have them in plenty. Our staff enjoying breakfast with the new vision editor, Mr. Joshua Kato. Our silage bags are going to help you store good animal feeds. The sweet aroma of the silage. If you use our silage bags, you will be able to produce good silage. Are you a dairy farmer? Do you want to get information about dairy farming, about pasture production, pasture preservation, pasture seeds, and seedlings? Our staff showing you how to use manual forage cutters, use of biogas for both fertilizer and cooking. Don't miss our motorized forage cutting machines, our newly made hay balers. Do you want to know more about rearing fish in tanks or do you want to do away with manure? Look no further. Itungo Pastures have improved their new premises in Wakiso Town along Hoima Road after Movers Petrol Station. Visit Itungo Pastures, the home of pasture feeds. So hello, once again it's your girl Confiance and at Itungo Pastures we have decided we shall not always talk about only animal nutrition. Today we are going to be talking about human nutrition. Remember you cannot feed animals healthy when you yourself you're not healthy. So it starts with you, a health mind, a health body. Don't go away, you have a lot to talk. In breakfast at the Tungo Pastures, of course, breakfast with our cows. Farming is very good. Start your day with a glass of water to keep you hydrated all day around. You can even run, okay? Do some exercises. Don't make yourself very difficult. You can jog. You can even dance, okay? Live a simple life. And let's go prepare breakfast with biogas. So as you can see, we have finished putting our cow dung into the funnel. Here where I'm touching is the biodigester. Then up is the gas. And our gas is transmitted to, through this tube. Follow me to the kitchen. Oh, oh my God, my breakfast is ready now. Always use biogas. Dear ladies and gentlemen, this thing of using food should stop. We at Itungo Pastures, we are advocating for the use of biogas. If you have piggery, if you have chicken, if you have cows, you can use the cow dung, then you're good for it. Stop cutting trees and protect our environment. Together, we can conserve our environment. Check, check, oh my god, you're missing something. Look at my legs, how good it is. It's clean and it is. Check the blue flame. Farming with love. Of course, you must be enjoying our itungo pastures video from the gardens to the plate check it out all right all right all right hope you're still with, it, with us thank you so much for coming with us all the way where we started until now and hope you're enjoying our videos that we are making remember for us we are here to show you good things but the decision it's yours let's hear our own dr william kabanda from Euras, uganda those are the breeders of genetics uh, of cattle and beef or rather of dairy and beef and without wasting your time for the lovers of Girando, brahmans um uh, charlotte and name it name it you know better 
let us hear our own Dr. William Kabanda is going to be explaining more. Remember, it's Itungo Pastures. Follow us on our Twitter, Itungo Pastures. YouTube, Itungo Pastures, located in Wakiso Town, along Hoima Road. Together, we can develop farming. In Oki, thank you so much for coming to Itungo Pastures. And today, what advice are you giving us, the people of Kato Corridor, all the way from Isinjiro, Mbarara, Churuhura, um, Mubende, Kakumiro, up to Ruero, Nakasongora, that Kato Corridor, people have been saying, but you people, you're telling us to grow pastures, you're telling us to feed dairy milk, you're telling us to get, have good things, but the cost of milk is very, very low. What are you advising us if you want to have good milk, but less <coughs> cost of production? Go ahead, Dr. Kavanda, of course, from Euras. We love you so much. Yura, thank you so much for giving us good breeds, good dinner. What should we do in order to increase milk production at a very low cost? Thank you so much. Go ahead. Uh, thank you very much, Director Itungo Pastor, Mr. Paison Bosinje, for giving us this opportunity as jurors. We don't take this for granted. And uh, thank you very much to our viewers who and the followers of Itungo Pastures. I strongly, be, strongly believe that uh, for one to have good milk from his cow and want to do his practice in the cattle corridor, we are very sorry for the challenge of the low price of milk, but we hope that we shall overcome. But always a, prepared, a, pre a good market finds a prepared mind. It is very advisable that you grow pastures and you also mix your local pastures with the likes of chicory, glycine, alfalfa seeds, alfalfa plant into your farmland. And at the same time, these can grow together with the Bracharia, the Cross Guyana, they can grow together with the Chikuyu grass, and still you can also have a garden of Super Napia Pakchong, which you can use to make yourself silage, as adverts can reach to you from a Tungo pasture, and then, and then you prepare yourself for the dry season where the prices of milk are very good. And at the same time, also, we also advise you on breeding passion that at a time of where the milk has no market your cows are dry and then your cows produce more milk at a time when milk has high demand but this takes you you must prepare the feeds by making yourself hay from crochicory from coriandra from coriandra mm -hmm. you can make hay from bracha from bracharia and also make silage from spanapia mm -hmm. this will help you to be prepared for the dry season when the prices of milk are very good at the same time you can also find a, a measure of management how do you manage your cow when the, the milk prices are low you can decide to increase on the volume you're giving to your calves such that the growth the average daily weight gain of your calves increases and then you can convert your milk into sell or into meat winning size and then you can be able to make more money by your calves growing faster because remember in the rainy season that's when you have a challenge of of milk prices going down at this time you can decide to 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 give too much milk to your calves since they have very good pastures around that time and then the weight gain will increase let's have some breeds that uh, us brings into the country you can also crossbreed your cows with cows that put on a lot of weight and then this can help you to convert your forages into meat which you can sell and then make money so much dr kavanda thank you wasoma 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 i love that i love that thank you so much actually See, we have not actually mentioned about the breeds the kind of genetic breeds now you have people asking me girando 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 you tell us about the breeds you have and in case someone wants to good genetics because um, <laughs> genetics because um, we don't we are all actually like in four locations western southwestern northern central so tell us dr kabanda the location and the kind of breeds you have right now thank you very much uh, the director itongo pastures as you are basically our headquarters are based in wisconsin usa that is where we fall and then bring everything to africa and our headquarters in africa are in uganda at chigo near Serena Resort Hotel. That's where we find our headquarters. We have the dairy breeds and the beef breeds. In the dairy breeds, we bring to you the horse. We bring to you the Giolando. We bring to you the Asher breed. 
we bring to you the brown swiss we bring to you the jersey we bring to you the american short horn we bring to you the fleck vic the beef breeds now we bring to you also brahman charles angus brangas and also the japanese black the wagyu the most expensive beef in the world brought it to you ugandans who are in the beef industry and luckily when you have want to taste this meat in uganda it's a kilo goes for about one million uganda shilling and this cow is nothing less but it's pastures which you can obtain from itungo pastures and then you'll be able to cope up with the market that this cow can bring to you and enjoy what else can we say remember at itungo pastures we are not professionals brother we are farmers like you we are sharing knowledge like you okay so always follow us our twitter itungo pastures youtube itungo pastures and until then i remain Yusuf Musinje from itungo pastures to you viewers we love you so much our clients may the good lord continue blessing you we love you till then <laughs>